Today we're going to be talking about volume. Volume is simply the amount of space something takes up. For instance, let's say that you were going to take a bath. Whenever you fill up the bathtub, initially, maybe you fill up the tub to about this point right here. But then whenever you get in, you notice something strange happens. It's like more water entered the tub, even though you had the water off. It went from this level to this level just by you climbing into the tub. The reason for that is because you take up this amount of space. You displaced or pushed all this other water out of the way because of all the space that you take up. And that caused the water level to rise. Solids, liquids, and gases all take up space. These are the, these are the three main states of matter that we talk about. Okay, Just like this dog takes up, well, he's taking up all the space in, in that little bed. Um, hopefully the dog won't grow much more. Uh, then the liquid. We know that um, if you're pouring water into this glass, once it reaches the top, it's going to overflow because it's, that's all the space that it can hold. But even gas, even though gas, we can't see the gas, it still takes up space. And our proof is a balloon. If you've blown up a balloon, the gas inside of the balloon causes it to expand. In order to record volume, you've got to have the proper instrument. You would use a clock to measure time, a thermometer to measure temperature, and use a graduated cylinder to measure the, sh the volume of irregularly shaped objects. For instance, liquids are irregularly shaped because they're going to take on the shape of the container that they're in. Okay, if you pour, notice this on the side. This looks like a scale, or it looks like a ruler, doesn't it? Okay, and if, if you count the numbers that are listed, 10, 20, 30, 40, we know this is a count by 10, and it goes up to 50 milliliters. This is a 50 milliliter capacity graduated cylinder. In this particular case, if you count the numbers from the beginning to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means each little notch represents one milliliter. Now that's not the case for all of them, and we'll look at some others in here in a minute. But right now, let's figure out the volume at this water level here. We have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 milliliters. This one's right at 30 milliliters. This one's right at 20 milliliters. What about this one? If you said 39 milliliters, you're correct. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can just look at this and know it's halfway between. That makes it 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Or one notch below 40 is also 39. Okay, 39 milliliters. One notch above 40 milliliters will be 41 milliliters. Now we're at two notches above 40, which is 42 milliliters. Okay, not all graduated cylinders are the same. This 100 milliliter capacity graduated cylinder counts by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That means halfway in between now is going to represent 10. 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so forth. And if we count in between, we can't count by ones now, because if we do, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we already know this represents 10. That means we, we're going to have to count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. See how that works? All right, so this is 80 plus, so 80, 82, 84 milliliters. Let's try another one. 
Here's 60, 62, 64 milliliters. What about this one? We know that halfway between is 30 milliliters, 32, 34 milliliters. All right, let's try a different one here. Now look at this. This 500 milliliter capacity graduating cylinder counts by 100s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Halfway in between 100 and 200, or you could say 200 minus 100 would leave you 100, right? 100 divided by 2 would leave you 50. So that means halfway in between is going to be 50 now. Obviously we can't count, count by 1's or 2's. Even if we, if we count it by 2's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. No way because this has to be 50. Let's try 10's. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that means now each one of these notches represent 10 milliliters. Now, the larger, the larger the graduated cylinder, the less exact the milliliters uh, are going to be. You're not going to be able. The less exact the measurement is going to be. Uh, the smaller the numbers, the more exact the numbers are going to be. The volume. Um, in this particular case, you've got 150. 60, 70, 170 milliliters. What about this one? If you're counting by tens, here's 400, 410, 420, 430 milliliters. 410, 400, excuse me, 220 milliliters. Okay, see how that works? All right, for homework, Let's go ahead and number one through five, and I'm going to pick a graduated cylinder, and I'm going to have you give me the volume. This should be on page six at the bottom. Number one. Number one. Give me the volume of this liquid. Number two, give me the volume of this liquid. How many milliliters? Don't forget to put the ML at the end. Number three. This is number three. Give me the volume of this water. Okay, and number four. Number four. Give me the volume of this water. Okay, and number five. This is number five. Give me the volume of this water. Alright, if you have any questions about this, don't forget, write it down in your science notebook and you can ask me in the morning. Have a good night.